Hi, this is Ilma Art Studio's photograph for today. That is a row of houses on the highway, but um, I took it from the point of view of one of the parks here in Orangeville, Ontario. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Ezekiel 18 verse 26. It says, when righteous people turn from their righteous behavior and start, do, and start doing sinful things, they will die for it. Yes, they will die because of their sinful deeds. Here's my poem. Consequence of Sin When a believer decides to continue sinning, he will be blinded and crave for evil things. They will grieve God's spirit living inside them it will open the door for Satan to easily tempt. The consequence of sin is death to your spirit. If you ask for forgiveness, you will be freed. When you choose to sin, you choose death. When you run to him, you will find rest. Here's my essay. If you have been living a life of denial, you open up yourself to dangerous living. Those who have never known the Lord will not know the con consequence of their sinful living. It is just normal for them. I lived many years in denial that I was angry and that I had so many losses. I hid in performance and wanted people to approve me. I didn't have self-worth. I was a very insecure person and felt empty because I didn't feel like I belonged to a family. I lived following what the world taught me, to seek pleasure and satisfy myself so I can cover up the pain of losing so many things in my life. I was spiritually dead for five decades, but God resurrected my spirit in Christ. Prayer. Lord, never let me compromise my love for you with worldly desires. Reflection. Why is it important to know the truth in order to make good choices? Well, when you go to shop in a grocery or in, in a department store, you don't just want to purchase something without uh, knowing the pros and the cons of that product that you're buying. I think it's the same way when um, you make choices and decisions. Um, if we don't know um, the pros of something, then we will just think that there's the only there's only the con or the disadvantage that uh, we need to contend with. Now. If we only hear the lies that the enemy tells us and we don't go and seek the truth that comes from God's Word and His teachings, how would we be able to live a life that is what God wants for us? It's, it's impossible to do that because you can only do um, good things if you know what is good and what is bad but sadly a lot of people don't think that even if they don't read a Bible the Spirit of God lives in them when they are a believer so those who are believers usually um, they they know because they read the Bible and they read and they, they, they want to please the Lord they know that anything that will um, displease the Lord is a consequence of their sin and that the consequence of that sin is uh, a separation from, from the Lord. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. God loves you so much and so do I.